Okay, y'all. So this is season one, episode two of the um, Rise Atlanta by Lan King's Films. I'm sorry, y'all. It's just the videos. I oh, I can't wait till I can get back to recording and in, in the normal daytime. Y'all see, I got my body on for a reason because after this, we are winding down, honey. And I'm, I'm doing my videos at night for the next month or so. But we start off with I Am Victor Jackson. Giving the cast the entire props, whoever he is. Looks like he's a handsome piece of trade, honey. But I'm not familiar with him, honey. But yeah, he spends the first couple minutes giving the folks their props. Then we get a quick recap of everything that transpired a week prior. Okay, so this is just going to be a theme that it takes like four minutes for the reviews to come up. I mean, not the reviews, but the intro. So, one Darrell, Ayo Rashawn. Coach Danae. <laughs> honey, the one that's going to teach me these vocal lessons, honey. Miss Freya Lisa, honey, she already, honey, she already said she got the vocals, honey. Taiji. Taiji sort of reminds me of Toddy from the Heights, but a more hood version. And then speaking of hood, honey, here comes our favorite butch queen, honey. Rico Cassidy, honey. I'm still curious why they didn't darn gonna put Giovanni in the inch. I mean. cute they had a little cipher after the disagreement <laughs> because you know that neither one of them looked like they was going to let up darn going um freer was on team cardi and darn going rico was team nikki so they just agreed to disagree they had a little impromptu darn going uh cipher well not a cipher because a cipher is like a battle between each other it was more like a I, well as she called it the drill honey they did a roll call and everybody down there gonna add it in. They freestyle on the hook. Versus, I think a cipher ain't a cipher is when it's like individual, like the the flows are totally different. Honey, what do I know, honey? I'm not. <laughs> let me not darn go say too much, honey. Y'all take that with a grain of salt. Diva ain't no goddamn musician, honey. Come on, Native Peach. Oh, oh okay. So, boo, done, boo, you over there done expanded, honey. You done went from the mentee to the mentor because I know he, um, his manager is the one over there on the Circle New York. Oh, shoot, I got the review darn going to circle down <laughs> south where I'm at it, too. Uh, but, yeah, Chad. Now, darn going, Rico got this girl, um, and I'm talking about actually one of the cisgender girls, honey. She cute, got bars and everything. Come on through. They in the studio and whatnot, and then we flash over to... One derail. It's going to take me a minute to get these names right, honey. Okay, the light-skinned boy is, I, I guess, a barber? Honey, you know we love darn on trade professions over here. It's not, not just trade, but trade professions, honey. From one beautician to another. Come on through, barber. Matter of fact, I do need to find me a barber from when I'm ready to cut all this hair off of mine. Because it's to a point now where I'm working this job and this demon here for a whole month. I don't even know. Because it's like my free days. Because I'm off the day. Hell, I don't know if the whole... I, I, <laughs> let me not call my manager a hoe. She ain't doing shit to me, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Honey, I just got this damn job. <laughs> and be my little she darn gonna kid, uh, you know, look at this video and be like, oh, I'm a hoe. Okay. Like. Somebody's getting fired. Honey, don't fire me on my damn day off, bitch. Don't do that. 
Uh uh. But yeah, um, with this new job or whatnot that has me working well until the day, I be. I'll be tired by the time I darn gonna get off, and I ain't even worked the damn day. I had a very productive day, though. I was able to finally get a couple videos out the way and stuff. I ain't never had time to go on here and uh, file that complaint with darn going, you know, getting that stuff off my report. That'll probably be this weekend or tomorrow since I ain't got... Because she ain't, she ain't gave me the schedule yet. So, honey, maybe if we... You know, she keep me on this three-day schedule. That'll be a, a little something, something nice where, okay, I, you know... But that's a whole nother... Oh, Lord. <laughs> we getting to sidetrack, y'all. Back to our regular schedule program. Uh, y'all y'all follow my vlogs for more on the work life. But, yeah, we got old boy out here, the barber, and um, 1D Rail. I don't know why they gossiping about darn on Giovanni or whatnot. See, it's the messy darn on gaze for me, honey. It's like if the boy wants to finally quit... See, y'all make it so hard for people to be productive citizens. Now, granted, I'm more disappointed when they leave because I'm the porn connoisseur. But, honey, y'all did that shit with Cash De Niro. Uh, Jess, uh, Justin is over there in Atlanta. He he does the real estate. You know, he gets people into houses and whatnot. You know, rentals or whatnot. He's a um, the realtor manager. Hell, you can't even find none of his darn on uh, stuff. He still got the OnlyFans, but. You know, you can't find none of his stuff on the porn hub no more. Nor should you, because you should support the artist directly. You should support the, uh, the, uh, the content creator directly. And now Giovanni, the same thing, honey. Sometimes people want to go corporate. I remember y'all done exposed. Who, who was it that got exposed? The one that really shouldn't have been exposed, honey. Fat Rabbit, honey. Because the face, oh God, the face is a brick, honey. <laughs> the face is declined, but, you know. Yeah, he got, he had a job over that. Well, he probably still got the job over there at P-Valley, honey. Because I can't imagine, a, you know, P-Valley letting him go off of that. But, yeah, if people want to darn go and venture out and get back, uh, get into, like, the music industry and shit, let them do it. Like I said, sometimes we be our own worst enemies. They ain't talking about going to church, huh? Yeah, y'all need some darn on church with this darn on business. But the old light-skinned barber talking about he ain't going to the church, honey. Come on through Coach Danae. So Coach Danae filled in for a girl that was on maternity leave. That's how she got her gig down there to, um... Hold on, y'all. Y'all cut that mess out down there. <laughs> this is one thing I ain't going to miss about this darn old house. The cats underneath the darn old house. Y'all know I got my four main babies. And now all these other darn old cats want to come around here. I'm, if y'all can't tell, for the ones who are new watching me, I am very much a country girl from darn old Fayetteville, North Carolina. And I'm in a darn old apartment where the darn old floor and walls are so thin where I can hear the cats cutting up underneath me, honey. Don't make no darn old sense. I need some good sleep tonight while I have it, honey. They worked me three days this week. Three long days. I closed every night, honey. I can't get used to that darn old shit. Mm-mm. It's like, give me give me one shift where I don't have to close, honey. I'll be all right, honey. Even if I have to open up a shift, honey. I'd rather open than a close that mug, honey. But, yeah, Coach the name. She thought she was filling in for the girl for a couple months. Six weeks to two months, honey. I don't know what happened with old girl, but two years later, she's still going strong with Gladys Knight. Come on through. And you know the girls are outliving some of the young folks. Every time I turn on the TV, there's a young actress that died at 35. Actor died at 27. I was like, damn. <laughs> and you know, when our legends go, at least they darn going to get up into their upper years. Uh, well, unfortunately, Raquel Wash, you know, rest in peace to her. She died at roughly around 70. Uh, 72, I believe, but honey, Tina Turner still going strong on uh, Survive the C-Word. 
Once again, we got to be careful with YouTube and they, uh, they forever darn on stringent algorithm, honey. Um, Riri, um, you know, live to mid 70s. Patty still going strong. Dion still going strong. So, honey, she got about a good four, five years probably left under Gladys because Gladys got to sit down at some time now. Now, Aunt Gladys is up there now. It's like, honey, I don't think that voice is going to really carry her like that but too much longer, honey. But Coach Danae, honey, she she got a good job with Darn on Gladys while it's still going, honey. Okay, now we got our boo Rico just darn on throwing that. I'm jealous of Rico's darn on a fluffy ass. <laughs> now, how the hell Rico's more darn on can do the moves better than me. Here I am. I look like I do the moves. I look like a goddamn, um, gr <laughs> what's that shit called? The long green insect. I look like a damn prior mantis trying to do the shit. Even with the fact that I got hips and thighs, <laughs> it's like I'm so damn tall. And I look like a goddamn prior mantis trying to throw it back, honey. Don't y'all judge me. I know quite a few people that love it nonetheless. <laughs> no, they will still love it nonetheless. Okay, now this what threw me for a loop. It looked like we got a little documentary thrown in here. Oh, okay, I see the... See, how come I didn't see this? Oh, it's flashing up and on. It's a paid advertisement. I thought this shit was... Because I was thinking, I was like, well, who is Chelsea? I was like, now, wait a minute now, Lando. Now, girl, I'm going to need you to get this shit right. It's already confusing me that the intro starts at the five-minute mark, essentially. Now we darn going to get introduced to somebody out the blue. Like, who the hell is Chelsea? But now I'm seeing that it's flashing up that it's a paid advertisement. I didn't catch that the first couple times, honey. But, honey, shout out to Chelsea for going through her trauma and... Well, Lord knows, not for going through the trauma, but for overcoming the trauma, and she looked like she doing good and whatnot. If y'all want to know more about the story, um, definitely check out the documentary, honey. I love this red on her. It pops against her darn old brown skin tone. Come on through breaking the barriers. Okay, then we got, who is this one? Wait a minute, so this is Wonder Rail? Well, who was the one that was, okay, now I'm confused again. Because this looks like somebody totally different from the one earlier, or is it the same person? They both small and lanky. Oh, no, I know I got the people confused. So if that's one derail, who is the guy with the orange hair then? Y'all, y'all tell me who the folk name is, cause I'm not about to rewrite this shit to the beginning to get the uh the names of the folks. So was that Ayo Rashawn? Wait a minute, panties wet, nipples are, are, are we are we bisexual? I mean, I thought he just played for the darn on the, the G side of the team, but okay, boo. Because I don't think he was talking to the girl who's, you know, I, I don't think he was referring to my type of girl, honey. Y'all get my raw reaction on this. Okay, we're not, okay, we, I'm sorry. We ain't preaching no friends tonight, honey. Thank you for being a friend. Oh, 
Come on through. Come on and wake me on up, honey. Wake it on up, Rico. Okay, that's all y'all getting a Rico. <laughs> Cause Rico, I need all my coins over here, girl. I support your shit and stuff, but you ain't about to take my darn on little YouTube coin over here. Cause it be my luck that I get a darn on flag from Chad and I'm gonna have to cuss both y'all beautiful butch queens out, honey. Y'all ain't flagging my shit over here. That's all y'all getting a little sample under fair use, honey. That that was the beautiful uh talented Georgia Peach Rico Cassidy. I give y'all a little sample, one more, y'all. Okay, that's all. Right. Okay, cause once again, honey, once again, between YouTube, honey, and the algorithm and they sensitivity of words. But honey, we gonna vote the shit on up, honey. Oh, girl. Hey. I wish I could do that, but my twerk is more like Cynthia Bailey, child. Honey, there go Rico over there with the Meg the style you need, honey. Come on through, Rico. Okay, Dargo Rico just, he ended up cutting up for like a good minute, honey. It was so good, they ended up bringing his ass back on the stage, child. And that's basically how we ended out. Did we get previews from next week or whatnot? So, I think going on um, forward, okay, we ended off at a good um, uh, time, about 20 minutes. And that's only because I spent about five minutes giving y'all a little personal talk. But I think, you know, for these uh, reviews for um, The Rise, it's going to be probably like 10, 15 minute reviews here on out. Because this is the type of show where I'm going to just be talking off the dome. I'm just going to get straight to the point. This is a show where I don't see much storyline outside of just pretty much. I mean, they try, it looked like they're trying to get a little something started. Free up. It looks like she's the wild card that darn on her personality naturally wakes shit up as far as drama and stuff is concerned. Geo in the situation with the, little, the, the boys, honey, that look like that might be bringing into something. It's still early. It's just episode two. Sometimes it takes a couple episodes for the stuff to warm up. You know, especially this is the series premiere, so we got to give them some grace, got to give them a little bit of leniency. But they still holding my attention. Because uh, there's some shows where it'd be like, I can't even make it past the first episode. And I don't care to see any of the other episodes. But this right here, it's keeping my attention all the way through. Because once again, everybody's truly talented. Everybody's on the grind or whatnot. So it's just, I, I want some, I don't know what's missing. I guess because it's still early. So we're going to still ride out with it for the time being. But, yeah, I, I'm just going to do my reviews off the dome where, you know, the highlights, I just, you know, speak out, speak on it. And I might not speak on it in any particular order. So, don't think that this is going to be like my regular reviews, like with Chase and where I, I do a bullet point and I go in chronological order. That's just not how I'm going to do it with this show right here. It's going to really just get my thoughts off the top of my head. It's going to be no more than 15 minutes and that's it. But everybody on here, truly talented. And I look forward to see what the darn on rest of them have. Because I already know what darn on Rico giving. I already know what Giovanni giving. But I'm really interested in seeing more of Coach Danae. And actually getting to learn some of these other folks in more detail. So that is it, y'all. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. And let me go ahead and moisturize my lips for darn on um, the circle darn going down south, honey.
That way the girls won't be reading me about my damn lips. Oh, this girl on here talking shit about us. Well, her darn gonna crumble up lips. Uh -uh. Y'all ain't about to read me, honey. Let me go on here and then gloss these mugs up right on now, honey. Make it look like I've been smacking on some chicken. Okay, that's it, y'all.